Hi, this is Lisa with Queen Bee Creations, and I'm here today to talk to you about the layering alphabet dies. It's a great new set that came out in our annual catalog for the 2018-2019 um, annual catalog. And it's a little bit pricey, but it's fun. There are so many things you can do with it. It's much more versatile than it looks. And it also looks a little bit complicated, but it's really not. So we're gonna go over that today. Hi, Janet. We're gonna go over um, making a couple cards a couple different ways and using the coordinating stamp set that goes with it. So like I'm a mess today, I tell ya. Um, the granddaughter's visiting from California, so she's had her energy all over this house. And then I've also got another Stampin' Up! demonstrator here that we're working on some computer stuff for her. But this is the set we're working with. It's the layering framework dies and the lined alphabet set that goes with it. Um, that's this one here. Um, this is the card using just the stamps. This word rock here is um, how it's traditionally used. Um, this U is from the Celebrate U Thinlet dies, and so is the Amazing that's on this one. Um, but this is the way they're done with the stamps and the framelits together. And then this was the negative from the ones I cut out. So I wasn't wasting any paper um, when I cut them out. I just saved the center of the O from here and I made sure to adhere it to the cardstock below. Um, so we're gonna continue working on this card because I wanted to add something on the bottom. So I'm gonna bring in my big shot. There we go. Um, so here's the big shot. And then I'm gonna be using the dies. And they come with the, I don't know what they call this thing, but this is the holder that's going to hold the dies for us. Um, and then we just pick out what letter that we want and then that's gonna set right inside. And they can only go one way. Um, this end is kind of squared and this one's kind of rounded um, so they won't go in upside down they have to go the right way they've got lots of little nicks in it and what these are for is this is to line it up with um, the cardstock and they're notched at four and a quarter and five and a half and there's also an extra little notch in there for European demonstrators um, for their card sizes but it makes sure that you can get the die centered in the cardstock the way we want it and I actually just want the letter. I don't want, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this, but then I'm gonna be stamping it, or cutting it off. You'll see what I mean in a minute. <laughs> I'm, I don't want the other part to it. We're just going to cut out the O. Yikes. Okay, so there's that. It's already in place. I'm gonna stick the top on it run it through the big shot and there we have our O. Oh, I moved it sorry I kind of bent my die a little didn't I um fun things to do on the screen um I just want this O and so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp over it um that's one of the benefits of these stamps being photopolymer is that you can see all the way through it so I can make sure that I stamp directly on that O. So I'm gonna ink this up. And I'm gonna stamp it right over the top. So now I can bring in my snips and I can just cut around. And now I have an O. And let's bring the big shot back. Another piece of white. Boy, I bent this all the heck. Um, Yikes. 
set this in here. And cut out an N. And because an N is straight on the back side, this would be a whole lot easier to cut than the O was. And I have my N stamp. Stamp that right over the top, and then I can easily just snip this. So you can see we've used the the positive, the negative, the letters by themselves, with, without the stamp set. It's like very versatile. So there we would have our card. We just glue those two on and we have a second card. So we have You Rock. And then I put Teach because um, like You Rock Teach for a teacher card um, in September. So that was a fun card to do. Um, so there's that one. And then I started doing um, gosh, what did I do to this? Ugh. Um, I started doing another card that we're going to finish up. And like I said, we're going to lay this in here, and then we're going to set our outer die, and then I'm lining up, um, I'm lining up the top and bottom. Ooh. And let's make sure it's all on the plate. And then I'm going to put in the letter A and put my top plate on. And here's our A middles out and with an H so here's our H Nice and pretty. And then I need the T. So all you do is you just place the T in your die and then you're going to line up these edges with the edge of the cardstock. Got it on the magnetic platform so it's kind of pulling, which is nice because it will hold it in place. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in all of these letters and I've done it in kind of a fall rainbow sort of colors. And then I'm ready to adhere it to the front of my card. So I'm going to start with the S. And I'm just going to center it on there. I'm going to use the liquid glue. Again, I like that when I need a little bit of extra time for some wiggle room. I have a new one. Well, newer anyway. And it's okay if it doesn't, if you know, if it hangs over just a tad. I'm going to have it hang over 
on the opening side so I can come back and trim that off when I'm done. And then we'll do the K. Again, I can see doing this for a lot of different things. You know, Valentine's Day is coming up and then there's, you know, you could do the word love. For Christmas, you could do joy or Noel. Trying to spell backwards, sometimes that's a little challenging, even when the letters are right in front of me. How silly is that? You know, of course, if you're local, it's always fun to just stop by and um, hang out at one of my classes and you can give these things a try before you make the investment. I think you'll really like them. Um, for those of you that um, follow my class to go um, and have maybe taken the cookie cutter Christmas class to go, um, that's still going on if you'd like. Um, you can purchase the materials pre-cut or you can just join to be part of the Facebook group um, where you get to see the videos and view the PDFs for the cards for that class. And I've got a new class coming out that I'm ready to photograph and get ready for you guys um, using a new fall set. So keep an eye out for that. It's coming soon. Um, and of course, I do a class a week here in my workshop. So if you're here in Twin Falls, um, I always have a class once a week. And if you know, my schedule, what I have on the calendar isn't fitting with your schedule, let me know because I often book extra classes um, as long as there's at least two people. I'm willing to do another class at another time. So there, I've spelled the word thanks. Oops. And now I'm going to come to the back side and I'm going to cut all this off. Let's bring in some big scissors. And there's our card. Isn't that pretty? I just love the way that came out. And even, you know, it, it with the letters, it would give more definition here in the ends of the letters. But, I mean, it's certainly not like you couldn't make out what that says. It's a really fun card. So um, anyway, that's all I had to show you today um, was just how fun and easy these framelit dies are and the, the bundle that they come with. So I hope you like my card and I hope you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and also following my page. Um, I try to do a Facebook Live every Monday um, at 2.30. Um, I was a little bit late today, but um, like I said, the granddaughter's here and the house has been busier than usual. So um, I would hope that uh, if you have any questions, you let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. and. I guess that's it. I'll see you next week. Next week I have planned a another fancy fold card. Um, some of you may have seen it. It was something Rhonda Wade did on one of her videos and I'm just going to do the same fold but a totally different cards and I think you're going to love it. So um, make sure to come back next Monday at 2.30 and I will see you then. Bye!